My first recipe is packed with strong, confident flavours, and with the oven taking the strain, is a pleasure to make. Delicious slow braised stuffed lamb breast. One of the secrets to slow cooking is to be robust and really get stuck in. Big, bold flavours work brilliantly well, so don't be precious. This is gutsy cooking at its absolute best. These are lamb breasts, a beautiful cheap cut, and it's sort of tucked alongside the rib. They've been boned out, the skin has been taken off. I'm gonna roll them, stuff them, and braise them. Braising simply means cooking in liquid on a low heat, making the meat divinely tender. Now, open them up and give them a really good season. Season them both sides, inside and out. Really important. It doesn't look like a real weighty, dense cut of meat, but once it's beautifully slow braised, it's just like melting lamb. It's incredible. I'm going to season the breast with some dried oregano. Put a heat in there, some chili flakes. Lemon zest. Got some amazing salted anchovies in there now. They almost melt inside the lamb. So the balance of flavors work beautifully. Now, pull it down towards you and roll that nice and tightly. That's what I'm looking for. String. We just need to tie them three times. One at each end and one in the middle. I fell in love with this dish years ago when I first started working in Paris because we had all the lamb in from the Pyrenees. The nice thing is, they can be done the day before. Pan on, olive oil in. Get that oil nice and hot. Lamb in. It's really important to get some nice color on there. Whilst they're browning, slice the onion. The lamb's gonna be cooking for two and a half hours. So don't slice the onions too thinly, otherwise they'll burn. Garlic and leave whole. Got the color on them. Look at that. Beautiful. Take them out. Onions in and garlic, straight in, lovely. That's the secret about slow braising. You never change pans. Why? All the goodness is in that one pan. A few chili seeds in there. Oregano, nice pinch. A little bit of lemon in there. I'm gonna do to the onions what I did to the lamb. Next, my capers. Fry them off. Get them exploding in the bottom of the pan. They get nice and crispy. Next, my black olives. Now, white wine. Mmm, bring that up to the boil. Deglazing the pan as well. A rinse in the bottom of that pan. And now the flavor in there is just extraordinary. Now, we add our tomatoes. Puncher those plum tomatoes. Then simply place the lamb breast back in the pot and remember to taste. Mm. That's nice. Lid on. Into the oven. 170. Two, two and a half hours and forget about it. Oh, beautiful. All that has reduced down to this amazing, nice tomato sauce. And the lamb has kept its colour. Look at that. It's braised beautifully. Very carefully, get your little bits there. Slice off, pull off the little bits of string. This is why I get really excited. The secret is not to slice it too thinly. You can smell the lemon. It's hard to believe when you slice through the center there that that is a very cheap cut of meat. I'm salivating. I love this. I mean, it's just incredible. Pick up the tomatoes and the olives and the onions. An amazing, rich sauce. Take your lamp and sort of just sit it on. It looks incredible. And that, for me, is why chefs get so excited with cheap cuts, 
because the end results are incredible. Delicious breast of lamb with lemon, anchovies, chili and oregano. My next recipe is all about great flavours and it's as cheap and easy to make as it is delicious. Spicy sausage rice. Whatever you're cooking, the secret of making great food is to ensure you lock in every last ounce of flavour in that pan. And this spicy sausage rice does exactly that. Take these spicy sausages and pierce that skin because I want all that delicious spicy sausage meat out of its casing. And you get more flavour from the sausage when you take them out of the casing. Sausage is ready. Turn on the gas. Bread onion, less acidic than a big white Spanish onion and a lot more flavoursome. <laughs> tablespoon of olive oil. A tablespoon only because I want all that fat coming out of the sausages to sort of really help flavour the onions. Onions in. And the onions go in first because you can never rush cooking an onion. It's really important to sort of give them five to six minutes in the pan so you can really start to caramelise them. And now for my pepper. Slice round, wasting nothing. I want to see that sort of little core, those pips in the centre. No fine diced pepper. The rice is going to be cooking for 20 minutes, so I want the veg to sort of have texture after it's cooked. Pepper's in. A bit of garlic, two nice cloves. Just slap down, off with the shell. Garlic in. Now, I want to turn up the gas, get the pan nice and hot, because the minute that sausage goes in, everything cools down and you'll end up boiling the peppers and the onions and the garlic. So heat up to maximum, and then just make a well in the centre in. Now, start stirring quickly. And this is where you get so much more bang for your buck out of the sausages because the skin's off and the real flavor of that spicy Italian sausage is gonna come through. What's great about this recipe is that you can use any type of sausage to get the flavor and the heat you want. I've gone for the spicy Italian, but it's just as good with merguez or chorizo. A teaspoon of paprika in. Give it that really nice smoky flavor. Rice in. And we're going to sort of basically sear the rice. We call it in the kitchen blasting the rice, where we sort of soak the rice for 30 seconds and it takes on all that flavor. Next, white wine. So the wine sort of deglazes the pan and washes all that flavor from the bottom of the pan into the rice. Stock in, bring it up to the boil, turn it down and let it simmer. Mmm. Double stock to rice. Turn that gas down and let it simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. And just give it the occasional stir. Keep an eye on it. Now, get ready to finish it. Slice spring onions, dice sweet, juicy tomatoes, and roughly chop earthy, flat-leaf parsley. Spring onions in, tomatoes in. Off with the gas. Really important. Otherwise, everything becomes overcooked. Flat-leaf parsley in. But look at the volume in that pan now. That is an amazing way to take spicy Italian sausages to a completely different level. Beautiful. <laughs>